What would you do with a battery that fits almost anywhere and will power almost anything? This is the new Lee Time flat battery with mounting brackets. Check this out. So it's 2.36 inches thick, about 21 inches long, about 11 inches high, weighs 33 pounds. It's IP65 rated and it's got 100 amp hours of capacity, so 1,280 watt hours. We've also got low temperature charging protection built into this thing. So you can charge it down to 32 degrees Fahrenheit or discharge it down to negative four Fahrenheit. So this is a great battery for RVs that might not necessarily be fully encapsulated, pop up or something like that. You can lay this down and put this underneath a seat, you know, underneath one of those bench seats, or you've got mounting brackets here along the side and you can bolt it to a wall. It, this is such a cool idea. I've been waiting for something like this for a really long time. My personal plan is to put this on the wall and use it as a battery backup for my refrigerator. Or it's so thin, you could just lay it on top of the refrigerator and slide it back and hook your inverter up to the terminals off to the side. You also could put this on the wall with an inverter next to your power panel and use it to run the blower motor on a gas powered furnace. So you've got all sorts of really neat flexible options you can use this for. And it's half the weight of a lead acid battery. My 100, 100 amp hour batteries I started off with were 65 pounds. So this is much more uh, uh, easy to deal with. You can also stack them. If you had a second one, it'll mate on top and then you take the mounting brackets and you turn them around and you can use it to bolt the batteries together. So I could run this as 12 volt at 200 amp hours or 24 volts at 100 amp hours, which would be a great match for the 24 volt all in one that I've reviewed in the past. We'll take a look at in a second. So let's check out the mounting brackets. So here's the mounting brackets. You got four of them and then you got various mounting holes around the perimeter of this. So you can kind of decide what works best for you. So as you can see, we got a couple of different options. We got mounting brackets on the top and the bottom. We got two on this side and one on this side in between the battery terminals. The battery terminals are an M6, not an M8, which is a little annoying, but most of the assortment packs that you get of crimp terminals will have some M6s. I wish they would have done an eight, but whatever. So we've got a 100 amp BMS inside of this, which means you can pull about 1200 watts or so, which is most appliances. It will peak to 300 amps for five seconds or 500 amps for one second, which is important to get over the startup surge of motor-based items like refrigerators and chest freezers. Once they get going, they don't pull very much, but you gotta kind of get over that hump, which is 12 to 1500 watts. So a really, really neat, really unique item that kind of solves a whole bunch of weird and different problems that you wouldn't necessarily think about. So uh, let's go see how we can rack this with some of my other stuff. All right, let's go. So this is the Lee Time 24 volt all-in-one inverter charger MPPT that I reviewed a couple of months ago. And I still really, really like this. You pack a ton of features into a really small package at a really, really good price. It's like under $500. It is 24 volts, so you'd have to have two of those flat batteries, but you could take that and mount it directly underneath here and put the whole thing on the wall and make your own little kind of miniature Tesla power wall, essentially. So put this next to your breaker panel, run the hard wire lines out uh, into a transfer switch and you can run, you know, small things. It's not going to run your entire house because of the 100 amp BMS, but it'll give you a lot of capacity and a nice tight package that goes up on the wall. that costs you about 1500 bucks. The flat batteries are under 500 bucks. They're on sale right now. We'll talk about that in a minute. So here's the mounting brackets from the top. So if I was going to lay this thing flat, 
I would use the brackets here on the side and on the back to stop it from kind of sliding around. If I was going to go vertical, like I'm going to show here, I'd put them on the top and the bottom for weight. So there's the top and bottom brackets. And it did come with some screws and some wall mollies. So there you have it, a really neat, innovative product from one of the most trusted battery manufacturers out there. They're constantly coming out with new stuff. So if you're looking for a battery for a golf cart, a trolling motor, an RV, home backup, or whatever, check out Lead Time. They've probably got something for you. There's a Memorial Day sale going on, and I've got a discount code down below. They'll save you a couple extra bucks. So thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.